Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. This is something new for me. I've never created any content like this. I've been wanting to get on YouTube and, and do something like this for a while. So I created this channel, all things tech, all things Apple. This week I did pick up the iPhone 14 Pro Max, something different. As you can see, it's the deep purple colorway. Have some things to say about it. So let's get to a review and unboxing. Let's get into it. So the iPhone 14 Pro Max, obviously a beautiful color, something new every year has been a lot of fun. I'm actually coming from an iPhone 13 mini, so this size is definitely different for me, but I wanted to, to be more productive during the day, especially with what I do on my phone, what I do for work. So having something like this has been a huge help. Now, when this came out, I was certainly a little bit nervous uh, just because a lot of other companies are doing something cool with their phones. And we haven't seen a whole lot new with Apple for the past couple of years. And, you know, maybe getting rid of the notch, maybe not doing something different was, we weren't quite sure if that was on the books, but this dynamic island has been a huge game changer for me. I know you can't see it right now because I've got a the dark earth background. Well, chances are, if you're watching this too, you've seen the dynamic island, but this feature right here from the Apple TV remote, I use Apple TV a lot, but being able to push play on something and have that pop into the dynamic island and quickly access what you're watching, what you're doing, change controls, get back into the remote itself, that's been huge. I love that feature. The other thing that I've really enjoyed with this is the always on display. Now, I think this is something that a lot of people are already used to and some people watching this are gonna say, oh, it's been around on phones forever. That's true. Uh, but coming from a huge Apple fan, and this is my daily driver phone, being able to leave this on my desk or table and know what's going on with a quick glance. Uh, I don't wear an Apple watch anymore, so certainly something a little bit different here, but just, you know, the tap and the quick little animation there, uh, being able to get back into the controls, see some things quite quickly. Uh, this has been awesome, and I think this has been a little bit debated since, they, since this has come out. Uh, especially with people saying, oh, again, this has been around, or you know what, I don't really like it. What does it do to my battery life and things like that? But for me, uh, definitely been something that I've utilized a lot and have really enjoyed. I'm definitely gonna have more to say on this one in the near future. So maybe like a month in review, how that's been for the, the first month of time, what the battery life has been like. Obviously, this is a huge phone, can display a lot of content, which is, again, different from my 13 mini, so I'm excited to get into that a little bit more. Yeah, anyway, my luck, kind of an in-depth review on color and, and a couple of the features, so let me know your thoughts. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. Uh, I'm going to be doing a review of the 13 mini kind of a one year after uh, and what that's been like. So got some good comparison, especially being on the new 14 Pro Max today. Uh, so good comparison coming soon and a uh, one year after on the 13 mini. Let me know if you, there's anything else you'd like to see on the 14 Pro Max. And uh, otherwise, we're out. Thanks.